Advancements in our technology has been one of the human race's greatest accomplishments to date. From getting us to the moon, to the internet, we figured out ways to change life as we know it. Yet still, as we know, technology isn't perfect. And more often than not, it seems that we're getting frustrated dealing with autocorrect or algorithms that we don't necessarily agree with, showing us things that we don't want to see. Of course, sometimes technology makes mistakes that, although it may slightly affect others in the bigger picture, it's just straight up funny. <laughs> and it seems that's what we're talking about today. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to In From Overload. I'm one of your hosts for this one, Jared Bronstein. And I'm your other host, Bree Room. And today on IO, we're talking about a slip up that the Facebook AI made which is giving the internet a much needed laugh during these hard times. Before we get into it though guys, make sure to check out the playlist we created just for you by clicking that button that just popped up somewhere in the corner there. And stick around until the very end for some bonus content. Also subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any other videos. But for now, let's get into it. So as we know, Facebook has done what they can to censor certain things from their platform. Hate speech isn't allowed, nor is violence or any kind of harm as far as I'm concerned. In the past, they've had their fair share of incidences where people have posted awful things either by going live or just posting regularly. Facebook has tried finding ways to combat this and one of them was creating an AI that automatically flags posts and remove them. However, this time around, it seems the artificial intelligence made a pretty stupid mistake. Of course, technology isn't perfect and that's why Facebook's AI missed some good old onions for, well, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Maybe it was confused for a pair of boots. I'm not really sure what else the onions could have been mistaken for and truthfully, they don't really look like boots either. Which is why a garden center in Newfoundland got a notice from Facebook claiming that their ad was inappropriate. They just had to share it with the world. More specifically, Facebook claimed that the ad broke the rules by posting products with overtly sexual positioning and clarified with listings may not position products or services in a sexually suggestive matter. Clearly this was a mistake, as Bree just mentioned, the ad literally showed a bunch of onions on top of each other. The ad itself was selling Walla Walla onion seeds, and the photo of onions was simply just to show buyers what kind of seeds they were getting. The seed company by EW Gaze took to Facebook, posting the photo of the original ad captioned, so we just got notified by Facebook that the photo used for our Walla Walla onion seed is overtly sexual, and therefore cannot be advertised to be sold on their platform. Can you see it? Shortly after disputing the claim, Facebook reinstated the ad after review. They admitted the mistake was done by their AI moderation technology which automatically takes down content it deems as inappropriate or contains nudity. Meg Sinclair, Facebook's Canada Head of Communications, told CBC, we use automated technology to keep nudity off our apps, but sometimes it doesn't know a Walla Walla onion from a, well, you know. We restored the ad and are sorry for the business's trouble. She didn't clarify what she meant by, you know, so we may never actually know what the AI thought the onions were, but I'm gonna say that it was b I mean, what else could it have been? Butts? I don't know. The AI thought that the seed company was trying to sell b Who? What? Seeds? I'm gonna grow some in my garden. Cool. Yeah, I don't really see, I, don't, I, I honestly, I was watching, I was looking at it, I was like, I don't see what they could have mistaken the onion for. I looked at the ad over and over again. Yeah, I mean, I just see onions. They're onions. <laughs> What I'm like, what could, this, what could this be? What, I, I don't know. I mean, the fact that there is absolutely nothing sexual about it makes it even funnier, but it's also good promo for the company because like the BBC uh, wrote about it and uh, Business Insider wrote about them and obviously we're talking about them. Yeah. Like this, you know, seed company is getting a huge, you know, some good promo. So shout out Canada. <laughs> the store's manager, Jackson McLean, claimed, I quote, we've sold more in the last three days than in the last five years. And he found humor in the situation, even putting the seeds under the sexy onions category on the company website. Oh so. my god. Yeah, McLean didn't even realize what could have been considered sexually suggestive until he noticed that maybe the round shapes could resemble either a pair of b or a butt. Still, he got a good laugh from it and an increase in business as well as a ton of media coverage. So it seemed like this worked out in the end. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like they say any publicity is good publicity. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I necessarily, yeah, I think that's somewhat, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Depends on the situation, but. I think in this case, yeah. I mean, it's good. I, I just really hope that no one's like, oh, false advertising. I planted these expecting <laughs> boobs and they're onions. I'm expecting just a couple perfect looking tushies. <laughs> I just want my tushies growing in my garden. I don't know. I'm sure people will probably buy the seeds expecting that to happen, which yeah, is you never know. wrong in itself. But for now, we're gonna reply to some comments from the video. Chris Pratt backlash over this joke. I'm so bored, so the people offended by this need to seriously grow up. Yeah, he, he literally made a joke about voting, like saying, you gotta vote, it's so important. Obvious celebrities doing it. Make sure to vote for this. I think it was the movie he's in for like the MTV Awards or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And people got mad and it's like, just relax. Like there's more serious problems happening in the world. You shouldn't get mad at him for that. Sorry. I don't know. Honestly, guys, just 
calm down, wear a mask, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's <literally. laughs> Aubrey Nykor says, I'm an American and I thought it was funny. Me too. I'm, I'm like, my dad's from Philadelphia. You were born in the US, weren't you? Yes, I was. I'm from Florida, unfortunately. So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, it's, look, I mean, again, we don't necessarily live in the States, so maybe we don't, you know, deal with the policies firsthand. But we're pretty close. We're in Canada. We're yeah. like the we're like the younger brother that, you know, just has to deal with all the repercussions too. So. Yeah. We're we're watching from afar. Yeah. So, good luck. <laughs> 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 Tiffany Murray said Chris Pratt is the worst Chris in Hollywood. It's been established by all the other Chris's. Says who? You? I thought, I, I thought he was wholesome. What happened? I liked him. What other Chris's are there? There's Chris Hemsworth and who else? Chris Pine? Chris Evans? I like Chris Pratt. He's funny. I don't know. I was gonna say he's in the Marvel Universe, but they all are. Yeah. <laughs> Except well, for like Chris, Chris Pine, Pine, I think. But what other Chris's are there? Oh gosh, I don't know. Chris Hemsworth? Did you mention that? Yeah, Chris yeah. Evans, Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth. There's a lot of Chris's. I think they're and they're all okay. Yeah, they're all good. Why, why is he the worst Chris in Hollywood? I don't. I disagree with that statement. I don't know. We're gonna research this later and be like, actually, yeah, I have to take I, that back. He's a horrible person. I think we gotta do. I think we gotta do a, a video of like the worst Chris in Hollywood, and we'll just break down every Chris. Top ten worst Chris's in Hollywood. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Let us know if you like this collab in the comments down below. Let us know your thoughts on this whole situation. Do you guys see anything potentially suggestive about this photo? I don't see it. Are you guys like offended by the onions? Are you an onion sexual? Is that what the problem was? <laughs> what did you see in this picture? I want to uh, know. Yeah, I mean, let us know if you guys were, you know, intrigued in a, in a, in a certain way in the slightest by seeing the picture of the onions. Yes. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.